If you have ever opened a scooter app only to find no scooters were nearby, help could be on the way. All right, the University of Maryland is working on a game changing idea, a self driving electric scooter that comes to you. Our Jacqueline Quinn got an exclusive look at the prototype. Meet Peter Parker. No, not that Peter Parker. This one's an electric scooter. It might look simple now, but this could be the next big thing you order up using your phone. Currently, he moves slowly but deliberately. That's the point. Lots of testing and lots, lots of development, yeah. Abrar Sayed is a grad student at UMD, helping Peter Parker see the world around him. Think of it like a spidey sense. What is this black stuff again? The obstacle. So why make a scooter that can drive and park itself? One of the inconveniences about shared scooters is sometimes they're not where you need them. The self-driving scooter, it can reposition itself to come to you or to park automatically. Derek Paley is leading the research team. Parks itself safely and without the nuisance that we see sometimes when scooters are left on a blocking sidewalk. Peter is one of three prototypes. The others, Richard and Ben. Yes, they're Parkers. Uh, we also think this is uh, a game changer for shared scooter operators because they can minimize their logistics. However, before this project can get picked up for commercialization, students have to finish testing all the software and hardware. That includes two cameras that work like eyes. Why can't we have one eye? Because if, if we, we can perceive the depth if, if we have two eyes. So. It could take some time, months to years. We, they call us scooter guys. But the team behind Peter Parker believes you're looking at the future. In College Park, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, WUSA 9. Technology is amazing, isn't it? And you never have to worry about getting your scooter again. I don't have to worry about it.